Welcome to Too Close to Home. I am your host, Gina, and today's story is extremely disturbing, to say the least. First, I want you guys to know that this video is my own opinion. Everything I see here is alleged. And I also want to give a warning. This is a true crime channel. We are going to be talking about murder. I want to give you a fair warning. Okay, let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about Christy Sheets shot her two daughters during a family meeting. They were 17 and 22 years old. And she shot them in front of their father, their suburban neighborhood in Katy, Texas. Jason and Christy had been longtime lovers. They had grown up just 15 minutes away from each other in Alabama. They had two children together, and many report that Christy was a very devoted and loving mother. Taylor was the oldest of the siblings. She was born on April 9, 1994, in Huntsville, Alabama. In 2012, Taylor graduated from Seven Lakes High School where, may I add, she was a member of the Honor Society and the future healthcare providers. She played sports and she really loved softball. She played freshman and sophomore year in high school. She would further go on to excel in college. She graduated cum de laude with an associate's degree from Lone Star College. She also made the dean's list and the president's list numerous times while she attended. And she had recently enrolled at the University of Houston to pursue her bachelor's degree and career in medical diagnostic sonography. Many remember her as being an outstanding nanny and say that her loving approach with children was just evident. She was also a very talented artist. She did a lot of sketch portraits, cartoons, and doing replicas. She was strong, independent, hilarious, beautiful, inside and out. Sounds like somebody I wanna know. I need a friend like Taylor. Madison, the younger sister, was born on October 21st, 1998 in Coleman, Alabama. Around the time of her death, she was attending Seven Lakes High School, where she was following in her sister's footsteps, also being a member of the National Honor Society, as well as the Spanish National Honor Society. Like her sister, she was known as being a fantastic nanny. She was also known to be a great pet sitter. Everyone said that she had a kind and loving heart. In high school, she was a member of a club called Spartans Out Serving, where they did different volunteer activities, and she absolutely loved that. She loved cooking and is remembered as being loyal, honest, warm, intelligent, and funny. Both of these girls sound like somebody I need in my life, for sure. They sound like amazing people. Why is it always the amazing people? Why do they... It just doesn't make sense. So the family lived in Alabama, but during some time, I couldn't figure out what year, they relocated to Katy, Texas, right outside of Houston. Christy Sheets was really close with her family, especially her grandfather and her mom. In 2012, her grandfather passed away, and then just two months later, her mom passed away, and her husband reported that these events really affected Christy. She went into a deep depression. He said that she changed as a person. And he claims that this was just like the beginning of the end, basically. That once these two deaths occurred, Christy just spiraled downward. Really, it, this is why mental health is such an important thing to talk about. Just saying. So she was suffering from depression. She saw a doctor and a therapist, and she was prescribed medication. In fact, she was prescribed numerous medications to kind of figure out what was going on and what would work and what wouldn't work. And she, during this whole time, she was under the care of a therapist. However, over the next four years, the police would be called out to their residence over a dozen times. And Christy also attempted to take her own life three times and was eventually admitted into a mental health facility. So at this point, the marriage was not going well and Jason basically gave up and he was like, I'm ready for a divorce. This was sometime in June of 2016. Also during June, Christy got in a fight with her older daughter, Taylor, who was 22 at the time. And Taylor wanted to go see her fiance, but Christy didn't want her to, or was like punishing her for something else. I'm not sure, but she wouldn't allow her to go see her boyfriend or fiance. And even Christy's husband, Jason was like, yeah, that's inappropriate. Like she's too old for that, man. It was not a good month for Christy, right? Think lots of things going on. Talk about a divorce, arguing with her daughter, 
So on June 24th, 2016, which happened to be Jason's birthday, Christy called for a family meeting. Jason figured that she wanted to talk about the divorce and like tell the girls about it, but that wasn't what she wanted to talk about. That wasn't why she was gathering her family in one room. When all of the family members had gathered, Christy took out a 38 caliber revolver and proceeded to shoot her daughters. At some point during this family meeting, somebody called 911. Hello? What's the address? She told Jason that she wanted him to suffer. She shot Taylor in the back and she shot 17-year-old Madison in the neck. Jason was able to help get the girls outside of the house through the front door, but Christy pursued them. Madison collapsed in the middle of the street and never got up again. Jason and Taylor didn't have a choice. They had to keep running because Christy was still pursuing them even after Madison died. Christy aimed her gun at them and she shot Taylor for a second time, which caused her to fall to the ground. Jason had to keep running. He didn't have a choice. He had to keep running to make sure that he could stay alive. He wasn't even sure if, he wasn't sure if that had just killed Taylor or not, but it didn't. But in hindsight, we know it didn't because there's another phone call from a neighbor who is witnessing this event and they see Christy go back into the house. The caller assumes that she's reloading the gun. She comes back out and she shoots Taylor for a third time. And at this point, with, you know, the 911 call during the family meeting, and now the neighbor's 911 call, um, the police rushed to the scene. They found Christy in the middle of the street. They demanded that she put down her weapon. She refused, and they shot her. This story really hit me in the feels, because I cannot understand how a mother could kill her children like that. It was so horrific, and she pursued them. That must be so frightening. And poor Jason literally lost his entire family in one day. It, we just really need to talk about mental health as a society. And this case really proves that because maybe if Chrissy had gotten the right help, I'm not sure, but there was some sort of psychotic break and she really wasn't getting the help that she needed. I don't think that was anybody's fault. It's just a really unfortunate situation. The prayers to the Sheets family and um, especially Jason. I told you this was going to be a bad one. All right. Thanks for listening and you take care of yourself. Be safe and we'll see you in the next episode.